It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers. And I'm back with another video. Y'all know what's going on. This isn't Road Running Buzz. This is Buzzy Will Help. Welcome to Buzzy Will Help, where I will be providing very crucial, informative tutorials. We already have a nice catalog of Mixcraft 9 tutorials, but now it's time for Mixcraft 10. We will eventually have tutorials from multiple dolls, not only Mixcraft products, but for now, we're just gonna stick with Mixcraft, right? So Mixcraft 10 is out. Let's jump right into it. This is how to record in Mixcraft 10, all right? So boom, we have it open, right? First, you wanna load your beat, right? Now there's always multiple ways you can load a beat, right? So the, one of the easiest ways is always gonna be just drag it in, all right? So I'll come over here and I'll just grab a beat real quick. Doesn't really matter which beat. Boom, let me grab one. Here we go. I don't even know what this is, but it doesn't matter. Boom, drag and drop. That's how you load the beat, right? But there's always more than one way. To bring in more sounds, you can add a sound file, right? Go find it in your computer. I'm gonna load the exact one I just had. Boom, you can do it like that, all right? But we here to record, right? So I'm gonna take you through my process of exactly what I do when I record, right? So I'm gonna load my beat in first, right? Actually, first I'm gonna find the key of my beat and the BPM. So nine times out of 10, I might come over here to TuneBat. Let me show y'all, man, show y'all the sauce. Come over here to TuneBat.com, right? I'm gonna go over here, key, boom, come in here, hit select file, and then I'm gonna go find I'm gonna go find my beat, you know what I mean? Same beat we just had right here. I'm gonna load it in. It's gonna tell me everything I need to know. My key, E minor, BPM, 150, right? So what I would do is I'll come to Mixcraft and I'm gonna go 150 and I'm gonna go minor, we are going E right e minor right and you want to come down here sound you want to use project tempo right and you can set it 150 right use project key we're gonna do e minor right now everything is ready now that's all set it's ready to go all right now what's next is i'm gonna come into my mixer and I'm gonna look right here on the track that my beat is on, and I'm gonna see the levels that my beat is hitting. See, it's hot, it's hitting red, right? I don't want my beat to hit above this nine right here. I found that when I do it like this, I get really clear vocals, right? So I wanna move this down. That, that might be good right there. As long as I'm not hitting max, bring it down a little bit more. Boom, we good, all right? Now, what you do is, now you're ready to arm your track. First, you wanna make sure that your mic and everything is set up properly. So what we do is we come into file, come into preferences, and then you wanna make sure that you're using ASIO drive, um, that's gonna be the most optimal drive for recording music. Um, the others, you may be able to get the job done, but it's not gonna be as efficient and as optimal as using ASIO, all right? So I got that set. As you can see, I'm using a focus right, all right? You know what I mean? Boom. Inputs are right, output is right, we ready to go. So I'm come here, I'm gonna arm my track. My mic is on my left channel. So you got stereo that picks up both channels. 
you got your left channel and your right channel. So my mic is always on my left channel. I will select left. Then you got your different recording modes. You got takes, overdub, replace, right? So takes is exactly what it say. You're just gonna get a take. And if you record again, it will record over the take, right? So I'm gonna give you an example real quick. We can hit record. You see, now if I hit record again, you see how I mute it? It's gonna record over it. It's not gonna delete it, but it's gonna record over it. It's not gonna record with it. It's gonna record over it, all right? So keep that in mind. What I use, I like to use overdub because if I'm punching in, I don't have to worry about it, right? So I could record, you know what I mean? Say what I'm gonna say. And then next time I record, I can start it here and it's still gonna play it. I'll be able to hear it and I'll be able to continue. So I use overdub a lot. That's like my default. And then you have, obviously you have replace where if you record, boom then if you record again we're gonna replace it we're going right over it all right so keep that in mind your different recording modes you can monitor your track like live monitoring all that you got a guitar tuner which i don't think we had before i don't even know how to use that arm for performance panel right now later on down the line we'll jump into the performance panel i'll show y'all how all that work right so boom, right now we just worrying about recording. So I showed you everything in here. I explained it to you how it works. Now you ready to record. You got your track arm. You got your level set right on your interface. You're ready to go. Now what you can do, you can come over here and you can hit record and you can start recording. Or you can do what I do and you can hit R on your keyboard and you can start recording, all right? It's basics right there, man. That's how to record in Mixcraft 10, all right? I just took you through my whole setup. Hopefully this video helps you. Go ahead, jump on in, man. Mixcraft 10 is so far so good. Haven't had any issues. It haven't crashed on me, nothing. I'm loving it. I'm hoping y'all love it. I'm hoping this is your doll of choice right now. Hopefully these videos help you be efficient and crank out some bangers man until next time yeah buzzy will help i don't know i gotta find a, i gotta find a little slogan for this channel but until then i'll catch y'all you're